Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Malia and today I'm going to be reviewing this straight synthetic wig from Sensational, so stay tuned. So this is the packaging the wig came in. Here, I'm just removing all the extra stuff from the wig. I swear I have a trash can by me, so do not worry. As you guys saw in the packaging, this wig is a 13 by 6 lace wig, which means it has lace from ear to ear and back towards the middle, and then the rest of the head is roughed. It has three combs, one on each side of the head and then one in the very back, as well as adjustable straps that I will be crisscrossing in the back as always. This wig felt very silky at first, but from the jump I had issues with tangling that only got worse. This is what the wig looks like on my hand without anything being done to it. And now I'm just going to try it on to get a feel for it in its raw form. It was a little hard to get on even when I tried it on without crisscrossing the straps in the back. So I would say that the cap construction is definitely not big headed friendly. Instead of taking the wig off and cutting the lace, I decided to cut it off in sections while I was wearing it. And I'm still cutting as close to the hairline as possible. And I actually ended up liking this method a lot better. I feel like the results came out way better than it does when I take it off. I'm going in with the Sally Hansen to conceal the knots so that the wig gives off more scalp vibes. Since the wig is fully synthetic, bleaching the knots is not an option. After that, I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue Free Spray to seal it and minimize transfer. We had some technical difficulties as you guys will see, but we made it work. Because the wig was already very tangled prone, I went in with a serum by Garnier Fertis. This usually solves all my hair issues, but this hair was determined to make me hate it, and it succeeded. It looked decent for about a week before the ends became unbearable and I had to cut it, which helped some but not a lot. Here I'm just pinning my hair back so I can go in with the free spray again to lay the lace down.
I feel like I never explained this part effectively, but you're literally just spraying the hairline. This is messier than usual because the nozzle is being weird, but hopefully you get the point. Once that's done, I'm going to tie a scarf around my head to apply pressure and help the lace lay better. And then I'm going to go back and add some more serum to the hair because y'all, this hair just was not it. Even after brushing it, the wig tangles in like three seconds. It also shedded a lot, which was weird to me, but whatever. Running with contraband. I was so sad and disappointed in this wig because it looked so pretty when you first took it out, but it is not worth buying at all. Do not waste your money. I already did that for us. But yeah, as usual, all the products used and the specs will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all my other socials for more content. I'll see you guys next week.